Hi, this is Dr. Sandy Queen with Queen Homeschool Supplies, and today I'm going to take you on a flip through of our Learning to Spell Through Copywork series, Book B. And Book B contains more advanced spelling and phonics rules. Uh, there are four books in this series, but they are all set up the same. So I just want to take you through a flip through of one of them so that you can see what it's like. And in the beginning, here in the very front, you are going to see an introduction to the parent telling how to use the books in this series. Okay, and then you're going to see the pages set up week by week. So each page lasts for one week. And on Monday, you're going to see the rule up at the top of the page. You're going to go over that rule and read it aloud to the child. And then the child is going to read you the words for that week aloud so that you know that they were listening when you read the rule to them. Then they are going to copy those words. Then they will read you the first sentence aloud and then copy that first sentence. And that's it. Every other day this week, you are going to review the rule again and the words and add one more sentence to read together and have the child copy them. And you'll do that each day during the week. Review everything and uh, add a new sentence and copy the new sentence. And that is all explained in this letter at the beginning of the book as the instruction is to the parent. As with all of our books at Queen Homeschool Supplies, you can see that this is written directly to the child. You will see, uh, let me just go to the next week. Okay, so week two, different rule, different words, same format. Week three, and this is again set up week by week. You will see as you go through the book that words that are previously used are used whenever we can use them later on in the sentences, just so that the child has the continued review. But this is how the books in this series are set up. You'll always see the new rule at the top for that week, followed by the word lists, and then one sentence each day using at least one of those words and some previously learn words wherever we can fit those in as well. Now books A and B in this series will contain all new spelling rules, spelling and phonics rules for the child. Book C will contain words that have multiple rules that they've already learned in previous books or rule breakers. And then book um, D is the one that contains the most commonly misspelled words in the English language. So those two books, books C and D, will not have a weekly rule because the words in those lists, uh, the words in those lessons will be um, rules that they've already learned or rule breakers, which will then be explained in that lesson too. Okay, so that's how this series is set up. You can see it like all of our books at Queen Homeschool Supplies, very simple to use, written directly to the child. I wrote these books directly to my children so that they could use them independently. Just a little bit of work every Monday where I read the rule to them and hear them uh, read the words aloud to me. But other than that, they can work independently. Usually a child starting book A has just finished uh, language lessons for the very young where they, or I'm sorry, Language Lessons for Little Ones, Volume 3, and that's the end, uh, where they have learned how to read fluently, and they would be ready to start Book A in the Learning to Spell Through Copywork series. This is the book that comes after Book A, obviously, Book B. So I hope you've enjoyed this little flip through. Uh, you can see samples, printable samples, of all the books in our Learning to Spell Through Copywork series on our website at queenhomeschool.com. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe after you've watched this video. Thanks for watching.